Have you guys ever been kidnapped? You have? Well, this 11-year-old can't relate. Listen to how she escapes her her thwarted, uh kidnapper. Soon to be. She escaped the kidnapping, basically. Cut the music. Cut the music. I can it. You know, it, it, the first one's always kind of hard to get through because you have to kind of get into the... It's okay. Let's just go ahead. Go. Feel like Pharrell in 07 on my uh, shoes, ice cream, uh, nice star, stop him out, it's a man down. What? Baby Milo yeah. custom PC getting fanned out. Fuck. Not from the block, I'm from the H and we don't play around. Catch him at a red light with a knife gun, we gon' spray him down. Alright, so basically, this 11 year old fights off a would be kidnapper. Niggas just. It's crazy how much shit I see that is happening in broad day. Like, people just stop caring. Criminals just stop caring altogether. It's heart-stopping video. A child is waiting at a bus stop when suddenly a would-be kidnapper pulls up. The man makes a mad dash across the lawn and grabs the girl. Cops say he's armed with a knife. The 11-year-old fights back and somehow manages to drag the man down. Spooked, the assailant decides he's no match for the brave girl. Lost to an 11-year-old. Lost to an 11 year old. The fact that he just drove up though and was like, yeah, I'm gonna take that one. Up. The man makes a mad dash across the lawn and grabs the girl. Cops say he's armed with a knife. The 11 year old fights back and somehow manages to drag the man down. Spooked, the assailant decides this he's nigga no looks, mad. You see how he runs? This, he just runs disgustingly for the brave girl and takes off. The girl's mother says the same man approached her daughter at the bus stop in Pensacola, Florida two weeks ago. Oh, so he's she thirsty. She drove her daughter to school up until yesterday. So he's been plotting. Pounced. Here's the creep. Look at this. Oh, I hope the... Now, I'm not going to wish bad on nobody, but I'm going to say, I hope something happened that isn't good and positive in that when he goes to jail. Today, Jared Stanga made his first... His name is Jared Stang. Day ...when the man pounced. Here's the creep today. Jared Stanga made his first appearance in court via monitor. The prosecutor warned he should not be out on the street. He is obviously a threat to this community. And you won't believe how cops found him. Deputies say they located the man's vehicle, which had been freshly painted at a home nearby. But the clincher cops say the man had blue slime on his arm. Slime is the sticky putty-like substance that's incredibly popular with kids and cops say the girl had been playing with blue slime at the time of the attack. Inside Edition security expert Steve Cardian shows us how a child can fight back if ever attacked by a predator. We enlisted eight-year-old Ava to help. Predator pulls up, he sees the little girl, gets out of his car, he runs towards her. She turns and runs away. He grabs her, lifts her, she starts to kick and wiggle her arms, drops down to the ground, she fights back, I leave, she gets up, and she runs away. What did she do? That would definitely work in a real life situation, man. Let's look back at that again. Help. Predator pulls up. He sees the little girl, gets out of his car. He runs towards her. She turns and runs away. He grabs her, lifts her. She starts to kick and wiggle her arms, drops down to the ground. She fights back. Let's think about this for a second. Imagine this, though. Imagine this. Imagine this. How am I getting canceled? I was literally blowing. I was blowing my nose. Oh, y'all heard? I was blowing my nose. He grabs but her, yo, lifts her. Imagine she starts this, though. to kick and wiggle her arms, drops down to the ground. She starts doing this. Down. Like, hey, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, yo, like, okay, I mean, you know, I'm sure, to, I'm sure it'll work though. Like, it's just like, yo, yo, what are you, what are you doing, bro? She fights back. I leave. She gets up and she runs away. What did she do right in that situation? She wiggled her arms and legs. She became dead weight. I couldn't hold her. Fighting back is essential, just like the brave girl at the bus stop.
at least they're teaching their kids uh like at least they're teaching them even at a young age uh self-defense uh it's kind of like those situations though where you know how people be taking uh like women take uh, like self-defense classes and they say like do this it's like things that a a real if in a real life situation would not work hold on let me see if i can find like a video uh and it's always it's always the explanations it's always the explanations that'd be so funny hold on i'm gonna say i'm gonna say women self defense techniques that's what i'm gonna say oh shit they'd be going damn they'd be going crazy okay here we go look at this look at this man and this is for this is for hey the guys, women. It's Jonah Whoops. here today. I have Anna, who is a jiu-jitsu blue belt under Bruno Barbosa. Oh shit! So the reason why I got you into now this is when we learn. Some of y'all gonna learn and use these techniques. Yeah, it's because I want you to teach the audience yeah. really simple self-defense moves, yeah. just in case they get into situations where they need to protect themselves. So, so yes. what can we expect from you today? So we're gonna look at very simple moves that do not require strength because sometimes the victim cannot overpower the aggressor. Correct. Because they might be larger and a lot stronger. Someone just in all caps, and it's true, okay? It's, it's not, I'm not laughing at it because he said it, but it's just random how I'm looking through this chat and it's just in all caps. Yo, it's really like this, like, this is room six. All y'all are in the, in the room right now and all y'all are just chill, like talking and, uh, as we're doing this. And it's just one person, all caps. Respect women! <laughs> it just flies by, bro. It's like, yo, everybody's con like talking and having a conversation. I just see an alt cap scroll by. Respect women! <laughs> physically. So like, we're okay, dude. Very efficient no one said not to, man. Employ, and you can learn very easily. Okay, so pretty much they are really simple moves. Things that everybody can learn. Yes, oh, I love y'all, bro. Yeah. All so right, let's what's learn. What's going to happen is I'm going to be the aggressor. And Anna, you're going to be the victim. Yes. Okay, so I know I'm gonna be in a lot of pain. That should not. Let's get straight into the five moves every woman should know. So the first move we're gonna look at is if we're See, walking in the street. See, that's the thing I'm talking that. about. Like when they show the technique, who it's like whoever they're showing it on, Mari. See, Mari is literally, I was just telling her, she's going to get canceled before she can even, like, really start, bro. She sent me a screenshot, okay? She sent me a screenshot of somebody that took a screenshot of what she said. Let me find this, bro. I think it was on Instagram she sent it to me. Let me, see. Let me, let me find this. Let me, let me read this to y'all, bro. Let me read this to y'all, man. I can't, um, I, just, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, of course, yo, if y'all don't know, Mari is, of course, she is black, okay? But, like, it just, this is just looks bad out of context. Like, it's just, I mean, there's, even in context, this is bad. It just says, hang them. It, it, it says, hang them in it just says it just says it and it's just it's just in chat she just said it in chat it's just in a chat was this in my chat yo what the fuck are you doing <laughs> i didn't realize what the other responses were bro it's like somebody spamming fng somebody spamming you know this and then you just see mari hang them So the first move we're gonna look at is if we're walking in the street and somebody just grabs our arm. Right, so say I grab you here. Yes. So what you're gonna do is you're going to put your hands over the person's fingers, over the knuckles. She's trying to show off her ring. Come on, sis. And you're going to swing your arm to grab their wrist. And once you're in this position. See, it's like, but it's like at this moment, like the person will just kind of jerk free. Like, yo, get the fuck off me. What are you doing, bro? You will push down. So the aggressor should fall down onto yes, the floor. Yes, so the aggressor will fall down because of the pressure. So. <laughs> and then she asked, and then what if they don't? 
Well, I hope they don't have a knife or a gun. And if they do, then you're fucked. I can't, I really, you know, unless you're Superman, there's nothing more I can do for you. I don't know. I'm just teaching you the techniques, okay? <laughs> if you try and stand up. Maybe they work, maybe they don't, but. Right, and then you can disengage and you can back run away. Yes. Yeah. So the goal is not to show off, but to protect yes. yourself and then run so away. So the goal is essentially to disengage from the person and to remove yourself from the situation. Okay. It's not to What's the next one? The con All right, so the second move. All right, so the second move is if you're out and somebody just comes up to you, puts their arm around you. Okay, so let's say, hey, what's up, girl? Yeah, exactly. So again, the arm. <laughs> so like, what's up, girl? She's like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Anyway, so we're gonna. <laughs> you don't need to tell me what I what I just said. Okay. Around you. Okay, so let's say, hey, what's up, girl? Yeah, exactly. So again, this has happened. He's come into your space mm -hmm. and he's trying to take control of your body. You can see his hips are against your hips and he's so, trying to control you. So instead of pushing it. away, yeah. take control as well. Exactly. So instead of pushing him away and trying to run, so you grab the wrist, you hold it down okay. and you just hold the person's shoulder here. Then you turn back and you swing the arm behind. And from this position, you would push down on the knee and then you disengage. Okay, right. Shall we just do that once more for the audience to really see? Yeah. So, right. Do y'all think this will work right. in like so a real you would grab the type wrist of to situation? And then you would grab... Oh, she grabbing her hair! And it's hard in this situation because your first response is to try and flee. Yeah, or to but, grab someone's hair back. But you can't really run when somebody pulls you back this way. Mm -hmm. So you'd swing your arm over. <laughs> She be so dramatic, bro. She be selling this shit like it's a wrestling move, bro. Ouch. <laughs> Essentially make them fall. Okay. So if someone grabs your hair, instead of grabbing their hair back. Yeah. So then, all right. So you swing your arm. And you see how I sort I, of let- I'm definitely in an awkward position right now. I let the wrist go. Yep. Just below. Yep. I mean the elbow. And then I push up. Okay, and the person should fall. And in this situation, I can punch your face and then I can run off. Right. Okay. So if ever you get into a cat fight, you know what to do. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. This is to protect your neck and then go behind you. Mm -hmm. All right. Then I would grab behind your knees. Okay. All right. Bro, nobody would give and you, you have this my much time, bro. It's low, and I'm already kind of listing you. Yep. And you pick them up. Jeez. And you'd go Damn! Down. And, and if you do it fast, God, God. it's gonna really injure someone because yeah. that person is gonna fall And flat. if if you're on the street, that thing was poking. It's gonna hurt. Yeah. Because they're gonna drop onto concrete. Yep. And you don't need strength because you're using. You don't because I'm low, and I'm using my center of gravity to lift you up. Hey yo, y'all, okay. yeah, yeah, y'all ain't fighting no more, bro. I think y'all doing a little something else, man. Get this off my shit, man. 